What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today's video, I'm actually not gonna do any cooking. I'm just gonna give a quick review of the slow and sear. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, uh, you'll know that I use it for that cook. However, um, <laughs> quite honestly, I was I was so thrown off by the, the ribs, I was expecting them to just like pop and, you know, make me say, yeah, buddy, <laughs> but they didn't do that. Anyway, it threw me off, and I completely forgot to to really talk about the slow and sear and my thoughts on that. Um, when I went and uploaded the video, you know, I edited it, uploaded it, watched it, I remembered that I forgot to do that. Instead of shooting another clip, re-editing the whole video, re-uploading uh, the entire video, I decided to just do a separate uh, video, this one here, uh, giving you my thoughts on the slow and sear. Upon, you know, finally getting my hands on one, I've heard a lot of stuff about it, and all of it has been positive. And um, it's, it was something that I re was really wanting to, to get a hold of. And when I, I've only used it once, so, you know, once I play around with it more, I'll have a better idea of, uh, or a better opinion of it. But so far, you know, with this first cook, I was extremely happy with it. If you operate it, the way that the instructions tell you to, it'll run just fine. At it, a at a whole temps, you know, at, at a low temp, for long hours if you needed to. The good thing about it also is that it can run really high temps, uh, run at really high temps if you want it also, if you wanted it to do that also. So you could do both, which I really enjoy. You can grill on it. Uh, it it's just it's multi usable. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, what I like about it is that it will take a regular grill, like your your uh, Weber kettle, and turn it into a smoker. Now, I've always used the Smokinator. I've had it for years. You've seen many videos if you followed me for a while. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Sorry, it's a neighbor's dog. Uh, I've always used a Smokinator, and I really enjoyed it because it, it kind of gave me that same option where you can, you know, do long cooks. However, the, the, the downside to the Smokinator was that it didn't hold a lot of coals. I know the, or I believe the, the instructions say it'll hold 60 coals. However, when you put that water pan in there, it's just, I don't think it, it can hold that many. Not with that water pan sitting flat flush. Um, in fact, I haven't used my water pan in, I can't tell you how long, well over, you know, a year and a half, uh, on the, on the smokinator because it does not fit in there with all those coals in there. So while it has a water pan to have that function of like producing uh, a steam and a moist environment in your cook, it, it really was kind of useless if you're trying to fill it up to get a long, uh, long burn out of it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna shoot that damn dog. Not really, I would never do that, I love dogs. <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a dog lover, so I would never do that. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I had always used my Smokinator. I thought it worked great. However, using this and hearing about this uh, slow and sear, and finally getting able to use it uh, once, I'm, um, I have no doubt that this is gonna replace that Smokinator. Now, the, I think the, well, part of the benefit of the, the slow ones here is that you can, it'll turn your kettle, like I said earlier, into a smoker. You can cook long cooks, big pieces of meat, pork butts, uh, briskets, you know, on one load of charcoal and that's not something you could do on the on the smokinator without having to constantly add to it it's just space wise um it, it's just smaller so i love the fact that i can get long hours a long cooking time with this smokinator i'm sorry with this slow and sear if i had to to knock it i would say that the the only downside to it is that since it is bigger, it does take up more space. Uh, you know what? Let me shut this door real quick. Damn dogs. 
<laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> um, if I had to knock it, the only thing I would knock it for is that it does take up. I shut one door so the dog is making noise, and then this one starts to drink. <laughs> anyway, uh, it does take up more room. When you when you put the smoking aid in there and you measure it from the back to the front, it sits at six inches, um, and and this is on the the twenty two inch and a half, um, twenty two and a half inch Weber kettle. It sits six inches deep, so you have more space compared to the the Sloan's here where it's it sticks out. Uh, I believe it was nine inches uh, deep, so it does take up uh, a few more inches, but. I don't think that's really going to be a problem because if, especially if you're cooking meat low and slow, you're not going to have a big raging fire there. That's going to be like right up on the, if, if you were to put like two racks of ribs in there, the one that's closest to the, to the fire, to the slow ones here, you're not going to have like a big raging fire, you know, burning that meat or whatever you're cooking. So I don't really think that that's going to be an issue, but if I had to knock it, that would be it. Um, Again, I've only used it one time, but so far, I really like it. I uh, just took a look at it now, and you know, there's still charcoal from uh, the last cook that I used it in. So, you know, when you shut your vents down and everything, it will die die down, and there is usually charcoal left in there that you can reuse, which never happens in my smokinator. So, overall, I'm really happy with it. I think um, I think it's 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 going to be a game changer for me in that if I wanted to do like a brisket, I feel comfortable instead of using my Weber Smoky Mountain or even my Traeger, that I could put it in there and let it run low and slow and not have to really worry about the, the temp. So I enjoy it so far. I think I'm gonna continue to enjoy it. And uh, you know, I'm kind of seeing what, what other people are saying, the, the Ray reviews that, that I've heard other people mention about it. I'm kind of seeing those and <clears throat> you know, I'm just really excited to have it. So if, if you guys are interested in uh, in getting one, I'll leave a link to their website below. I don't get a kickback. I don't get anything. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to put that information there for you just in case uh, you're, you're, you know, in the market for one. So uh, that's it. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care.